And I just had to share because it started snowing real, real pretty. Welcome to Canada in January. And uh, surprisingly, my head feels way better and I may have to get out there in that. Whew, it's a relief. Whew. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. It's Faith here from Faith and Lily. And I thought uh, one of the things I would try in the new year is kind of some little um, vlogs about uh, what we're doing and what's what's going on, what's new, plans, thoughts, stuff like that. Just for fun, <laughs> I've been watching lots of Rachel Maxi, Rachel Maxi, and uh, I really um, love what she does, and um, I. I enjoy watching her creativity and, and listening to the things she has to say about it. So I thought maybe kind of along that lines, obviously I'm a different generation than Rachel, but you know, we can admire younger people. <laughs> um, so today I thought I'd tell you about some of my soaping goals for 2022 and um, some of the things that um, I've got on the go and some new stuff I, I, I had come in. Um, so I set a few goals. One of them was um, um, I've been making soaps that are really focused on um, skin care and, um, you know, treating the skin gently, um, being healthy for people with uh, sensitive skin or chemical sensitivities or eczema or things like that, you know, trying to be sort of uh, in that niche. Um, but I also realized from being at markets and selling online and things over, uh, over more than a year now that we've been had our business. Um, that a lot of times people just buy things because they like how they look and they're pretty and they want them. <laughs> um, and I, I'm no different than anyone else in that regard. So um, I wanted this year, 2022, to make um, things that are more pretty and beautiful um, and, and, and explore that more, be more artistic in the soap that I make. So I have a few good recipes that I really like to use and now I thought I'd kind of um, um, add to that upping my art game. So one of the things I wanted to do this year was um, get some better colorant. So I was looking where do people order all the really great micas from and I heard of a few companies of course um, and one of them was Mad Micas and um, so I one of my little resolutions or New Year's treats for myself was to order some good colors from Mad Micas and try them out. So my parcel from Mad Micas came and as you can see I've already opened it and it was sitting around for about a week and I hadn't really peeked in it that much. Today I did peek in it but I thought it would be fun to peek in it with you guys and so you guys could see um, some of the things I got and the things I'm thinking of making. And by the way, thank you Mad Micas, that's my first name. <laughs> that's the name on my credit card. That's really sweet, really sweet, nice touch. I'm gonna tip the box back up. The so, uh, some of the things I ordered from Mad Micas. And I got a big haul. So one of the things was this. Uh, is this mermaid scales? No, this is called Atomic Number 79. Atomic Number 79. I gotta look and see uh, what that is on the periodic table because that's that's referencing something, isn't it? But it does say it's biodegradable glitter. Um, and I got this stuff because um, I have this wonderful scent from from uh, Brambleberry called After the Rain and I've been wanting to make something special with After the Rain and if things go well this year and go according to plan we should be going, uh, me and my kids, on a trip um, to uh, Mexico which was one of the goals I had uh, for 2022 also was that I wanted to travel more and I wanted to travel with my kids before they get too old to want to go on a trip with me and they think I'm not cool and they can't don't want to spend time with me so anyway we're going and I wanted to um, make a soap uh, um, that was kind of fun and uh, Caribbean and and you know watery sort of fun soap so I have some molds to try to make some embeds and I wanted to you know jazz it up with some tails and things like that um, so yeah um, this is one of the um, glitters that I think I'm going to use in that soap when I make it so this is my After the Rain fragrance actually, and it's um, mm, it's kind of salty, um, yeah, like a little bit, uh, 
It smells like the seashore, but it also smells like those glamorous um, magazines we used to look at in the 1980s, and they'd have the perfume samples in them, and we'd rub them all behind our ears and stuff, so it a bit reminds me of that, but also somehow a little salty. And yeah, it's a great smell. Anyway, I'm excited. I can't wait to use it, and um, I'm going to have to plan really well because it does say there's mild acceleration and cool process soap with this one. It also says it discolors to light yellow, so I'll have to maybe do a test batch with that first. Um, maybe that's something else that I can try this month, and I'll tell you about some of my goals for this month in a couple minutes. Um, that's a soap I want to do by about March break sort of time. Um, okay, uh, I've got the Mermaid Trails, which is another glitter, and I got a couple of kind of blues and bluey greens too. This is Tahitian Teal. Isn't that pretty? really excited about that. This one's called Twilight and it's more like a, like an ocean blue or the sky at almost sunset. So yeah, so I've got kind of some blues there to go with my mermaid tails and fish and whatever else ends up being for that soap. So other things I got from Mad Micah's. I find red is kind of hard. I have some I had trouble getting red here the last time I was ordering some micas, and I don't know if that's a, a common problem. Maybe people want to um, comment if you're a soaper or do other crafts and you have trouble finding um, red in micas, or if you uh, know why, that would be. <laughs> um, and I still, even, even in looking at what they had, I didn't find a lot of really true reds. So I found this one, which is called Voodoo, and I'm excited to see what it looks like. Oh, even looking at it under this light, it looks more like a pink to me than the red. This is as good as I can get the light. Ottawa in winter, but um, yeah, so that's Voodoo, and I am excited to pair it with, uh, got lots of this. I got a black called Wicked, and it's supposed to be sort of have a sheen to it too, and I have lots as you can see. So I think those will look good together. I also think that this color will look great with the black. This is their, their King Tut gold. I'm excited to try it. And uh, yeah, you're gonna have to hold me back so I don't just mix them all together and make a giant pot of mess soup because uh, I'm excited to try them. So I'm excited to carefully play, pair them and carefully plan. We shall see, we shall see. Um, another this red? I thought I had another red. I'm looking at everything I have now. I don't have another red. I The other color I got, what would you call this? This is somewhere almost like a, this looks like a neon orange or pink like we used to wear. Again, very 80s color when we used to have all those neon things. Does anybody else my age remember? This one's called Brazen Hussy, and I kind of love it. So um, we'll see. We'll see what, uh, maybe I, maybe if I mix a little of each, we'll see what happens. And again, you can see they're, they're similar, but uh, not, definitely not the same. Um, going from this color to orange, I did get Flotation Device, which they do list, I think, as a, neon color. They do have a section for neon colors on Mad Micah's beautiful website, by the way, for Mad Micah's. Um, so yeah, there you go. And you can see from Voodoo to Brazen Hussy to Flotation Device, there are the colors. Yeah. Um, other things I got. What else did I get? Quicksilver. Ingredients, polyethylene, terra phthalate, and aluminum. Um, the other glitters that are biodegradable still say they contain a little aluminum, I think, but uh, yes, it says use as decorative sparkles. It does say on soap. Anyhow, we'll have to, we'll have to see. I'm not keen on putting anything bad into um, our water system, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe this will have to be for something else that's not in the shower. Um, and I've got this one, which is a spray, which I thought would be cool to do spray tops. And it's allowed to be used in cosmetics, including around the lip area, so it must be fairly safe. This one's called Fairy Duster. I'm excited to try that. It's got this little nozzle, so you can, I guess, pump and spray. Make it feel like a little fireman. So yeah, excited to try that. Um, this tiny one here was I wanted to try maybe a black soap with like something like glow-in-the-dark eyes or something. So this is glow green. And uh, 
I don't know if I wasn't sure how it would go or if it was expensive. I just got a tiny bottle. I guess uh, if it goes great, when I order again, I'll get more. <laughs> um, one more glitter. This is another PLA, so polylactic acid, so a plant-based. It's a biodegradable glitter. Um, it actually doesn't say PL it's biodegradable. It says it's PLA-based sparkles. It should, that should be biodegradable because PLA is a polylactic acid derived from plants. Um, and this one's called Jazzy Banana. Anyhow, I couldn't resist and I got both. So, had lots of things happen. Oh, this is the other green. This is the green that, look at this. I got Crazy Eyes green. And I got titan uh, Tahitian Teal. Look how close they are. Uh, what else did I get? I've got Magic Beans. It was just like a really fun looking brown to try. That's a pretty one. I'm excited to try that. And the last one I have here is, oh, Radioactive. And that's another one of their really um, neon. This one to me is neon too. I don't know. Look at that. We're gonna have fun, huh? It's gonna be like the 80s here. I'm gonna have to listen to Cindy Lauper when I use those. Um, and the other, the last thing that I ordered, I was really impressed with this. So they have these kits where you can get like kind of all of something. So this one, Color Shock is nine neon pigments together in a bag, and it's of course the, it's a it's a special price for buying the whole set. And I was surprised when I started to rip open the bag because look how big they are. They're actually decent size ones, and everything is in here. So this is tickled pink. So that's a real neon pink. Tennis ball breaker. The yellow. I'm gonna have fun. That's more radioactive, so I actually have, a, you know, and I'm not quite sure again what I was thinking. I have two tubs the same size of radioactive. I guess I was pretty sure I was gonna like this color, so I made sure I would have a bit more right from the get go. And this is flotation device, and again, I love oranges and soap. Can you tell? I ordered a big thing of flotation device, so I have lots of flotation device. I guess I'll use this one up first. Um, cheesy poof. <laughs> cheesy poof. Do you want to eat some cheesy poofs? Grape ape. Super fun. Grape ape. It's a nice grapey color, of course. Blue Shocker. I'm just opening these for the first time. So that one doesn't even look too neon to me. I guess we'll see when we use some what that's like. Yeah. And Brazen Hussy. So Brazen Hussy is one of their neons. There you go. And I ordered a large amount of that one too, didn't I? Raisin Hussy, that's very neon. That's gonna be so super fun. And uh, last, oh, there's nothing left in here. Did I show you Pretty Kitty? Anyhow, so the reason I have, look at all these things, what a haul, whoa. The reason I have this huge haul of stuff, besides wanting to make one sort of Caribbean inspired soap this year, was because, um, like I was mentioning, I decided to up my game and try to uh, make my soap uh, more artistic, focus on it more as an art form, and uh, really have you know fun, make us make some eye candy this year. Um, and uh, one of the ways I was hoping to do that was by um, caving in, even though I'm a little scared, and joining the Soap Challenge Club. Um, so far, I just signed up for January, and January is Hanger Swirl. 
and I even wasn't sure about using just a hanger because I was worried if there was aluminum in the hanger or something like that I might end up uh, you know it's it's in my home and I don't want anybody to get hurt including me of course but also my kids are pets um, so I, I ordered a proper hanger swirl tool I got a custom made one and I got one of their off-the-shelf ones uh, from a company out in BC and I have to go pick that up in a couple minutes I'm gonna bundle up because it's a cold day in Ottawa so those are new things that I'm doing just for creative growth for me I'm Macy. let's see what happens <laughs> okay welcome to my intersection so I was gonna say ain't nothing it's fine out it's not, it's really cool. They took my mittens off because I have a little free library and I wanted to add some books. Uh, it was actually pretty full, but I stuffed in some kids' books. That's very full, come get some books. And now my hands are freezing and I'm gonna put my mitts back on, but it's very 